Hi guys, today I want to show you something um, that's a new feature. It came into place about November of 2019, so it's pretty new. Um, it's the purchasing method is now able to be defaulted on the item card. And the business reason for doing this is now people don't have to remember to um, select the proper uh, purchasing code when they're creating a sales order. So I went ahead and used the Athens desk for this example. And what I've done is I've just changed this purchasing code. This is the new field to dropship. So what we, the whole point again, is that this is the default. It can be overwritten, but now when I'm entering a sales order, this line on the sales order will default to dropship. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you what that looks like. So when I create a new sales order, going to press enter here and customer has an overdue balance that's not surprising control v to paste all right now look over here here's that purchasing code so right away the user or the sales order entry person or the salesperson doesn't need to think about it at all the default comes up and like I said, I'm able to override it if there's something different about this particular order, but it's already in place, ready to go. It's simple, it's a pretty elegant solution, and it's actually something that's been requested many times. So it's nice to see that it's now available. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at Thanks.